we're making Thursday things, we're making Thursday things, we're making Thursday, yeah. Things we're making Thursday things, we're making Thursday things, we're making Thursday, yeah. Hey there, Soul Shines, it's Michelle here, and it is Things We're Making Thursday. And I'm sorry, it is so late in the day. I hope I actually get this up on Thursday. It's been a busy couple of days. I didn't even make it to getting a busy video. I have company coming tomorrow, trying to get ready for that. Plus, yesterday went to a place that went up tons and tons and tons of stairs. And now, oh, I'm so sore. And yeah, I still have so much to do today. So it's a day. But I wanted to talk to you about the things. So I wanted to talk to you about my bag because it's been on hold. So let's, let's start with that. So I was working on my bag and I was knitting it. And then I was like, okay, well let's switch over to Tunisian. And so I did. And so you can see on the inside that the stitches change right here. That is the few rows of Tunisian I did around on it. And on my ends, I did the simple stitch, so you can see where it goes from this stitch to here. And then on this, there's a little bit of difference going from knitting to Tunisian, um, but it's not too bad, but mostly, I hate it. Uh -huh. I don't hate Tunisian crochet, but it's just such a thick fabric that I'm really hating it for my bag. So um, I've quit this. I'm going to undo all of the Tunisian crochet. I think I'm just going to switch to regular crochet because that will be faster. So I will just regularly crochet the rest of the bag. Um, it won't be as thick as Tunisian crochet. It will be thicker than the knitting fabric, the knitted fabric, but um, it will be okay, I think. And if not, I will just go back and do the knitting again and finish knitting the back. We'll see. So yeah, from now on, that will be something I'll talk about on Whip Wednesdays and Creative Expressions. This will be the last time I mention that bag. Well, I can't say that because you never know. I might mention the bag, but it's the last time it's going to be featured. So we did start something else for Tunisian crochet. I have my Tunisian crochet hook right here. I have it in the same bag as um, my hoodie scarf thing, so it's all tangled up right now. So, um, hook with the cable on the end of it, and um, I'm using doing the knit stitch. And I'm doing this um, washcloth that I found. Now the washcloth, she did it with the simple stitch, um, which has the lines down the side. Um, I wanted it like this. So it's got that, the texture of the Tunisian crochet. So it's thicker. Um, and then also has a knit look to it on this side. So, um, Basically, you increase on each end until you get it, your um, sides to be the length you want them. And so that it will be kind of the size square you want it to be. And then you decrease down until you get it to be a square. Um, I've done this with knitted dish cloths. So I don't know how it's gonna work, but I thought it'd be fun to see how having kind of this, what I would call a scrubbier texture on the back of a soft texture. I'm just really curious how this is gonna work. Um, one of my challenges that I have with knitted and crochet dish cloths is um, I like using thinner fabric for washing dishes. So I don't know if I like this. Um, my knitted dish cloths, they're okay, especially if I use bigger hooks. And um, I do have some like one weight and two weight cotton that I was thinking about making dish cloths in the thinner cotton 
and seeing if I like those. Um, so we'll see, but I've done Tunisian crochet. So this month for things for making Thursday is try Tunisian crochet. Well, I've already done it. I've made a hat, I've made dish or hot pads and all kinds of things like throughout the years. Um, I think it was in high school the first time I did any Tunisian crochet. I was so confused the first time I saw it. I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. What are you talking about? And that was back in the 80s. We didn't get to Google. Um, but somehow I figured out, I was talking about a different hook, was able to get a hold of the hook, and was able to do Tunisian crochet. with. It wasn't with the cable. I have two with cables. And then I think I have, I have two or three few hooks with that don't have the cables they just have the longer hook with the end on it so it can stay on there I keep them around four times like this but I don't typically enjoy working Tunisian crochet I think it's awesome that some people absolutely love it I admire those people I just I don't know I, I like, I think it's cool that it looks like knit over here. And knowing that it's actually crochet is kind of fun. And it's not hard to do. It can be a little awkward um, with the hook with a bunch of loops on it, but it's not hard. <sighs> I just don't love it. And that's okay. I think that's amazing about crafts is that we can try some crafts and if we don't like them, we don't have to keep doing them and for me I don't hate it so I'll do it once in a while but I don't love it so I don't know I'm gonna f I know I'm gonna finish this I don't know if I'll finish it next week or the week after because I have some other things to do as well they're so noisy but at least it's laughing um and then oh dear it's coming apart Oh, don't do that. Okay. I fix, I fix. Okay. Um, I don't know. I'll probably just make this dishcloth and be done with Tunisian crochet for the month. Um, and just, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, um, I just want to thank everybody for this wonderful collab. It's really fun that there are so many people in the crochet work world working on the same things. I guess the knitting world too. It covers both. Um, and it's just, it's fun. It's fun having this collab thing. Um, J-Hook Magic, just she and her husband did the song for it and that's awesome and there is a Facebook group you're welcome to go join it all of the information for things we're making Thursday is in the description box below um, I have a list of all the upcoming months to as far as I know they are correct um, nobody's corrected me on them and told me I'm wrong so April is Tri Tunisian Crochet, and then we move on to something else. I can't remember. One of the months coming up is going to be making something for your house. One of them is Wearables Month. I don't know. Lots of things. <sighs> okay, anyway. Uh, that's it today. I don't really have a lot to say and I've got a lot going on in my brain so it's like sitting down here to make the video. I'm like I'm just not in the bestest of emotional state for this because I have a lot going on. Um, which is fun but also can be stressful. So remember to let your light shine through your creations whatever they will be and if you're trying Tunisian crochet um, let me know. I'd love to see it. Whether you have your own channel, say, hey, have you checked out my Things for Making Thursday video? Or if you have pictures, I'd love to see your pictures. Um, if you want me to share them with through my channel, I can do that as well. 
So anyway, why was I was saying, remember to let your light shine through your creations. I'll see you next time. Bye.